Welcome to my new and very much last City Skylands project, before obviously City Skylands 2 is dropping. Today we are starting with the most German city, which is a project for the last couple of months until the new game is basically available for us. I'm gonna talk you through each episode uh, one German topic. Today we're going to talk about the tax system in Germany. So if you're interested in that, um, I will talk about that alongside the city build. However, today it's more about the general layout of the city. It's going to be a mixture of the cities I live in, um, or basically I have spent the most time of my life, which is uh, Düsseldorf, Cologne and pa partially Berlin. Um, so really taking some bigger cities as inspiration. But then since I'm a living countryside right now, uh, a couple of like 50 kilometers to the west of uh, Düsseldorf at the moment, um, I'm obviously taking inspiration for that as well. So kind of some suburbs, some countryside areas, stuff like that in a very chill, relaxed manner. We're going to talk you through this. Um, the Again, we are playing vanilla is not the right thing, but we are playing mostly vanilla. You know, the, the normal kind of uh, progressive mods that we need. Um, so stuff like move it and stuff, you know, the, the normal stuff, you get it. Uh, without, basically, this game is not possible to play, at least in my opinion. Um, and we have a couple of cosmetic mods installed. And for the next episode, I will actually bring in the zoning um, style mod so that we can actually get a kind of really nice looking um, old town. So next episode will be old town. But as promised, um, we are going to talk about this very layout at the end of the episode. There will be a huge screenshot of the layout of the city. I'm going to talk you through what exactly is the plan behind but now we have to talk a little bit about the German tax system so let's get started with some base information um, Germany has the second highest tax um, ratio in the world um, just behind Belgium but it has to be said that it's just Belgium is just higher when it comes to the overall uh, relation of tax versus income but then again Belgium is a lot more cheap when it comes to taxes on oil fuel energy and stuff so overall like if you take everything into account Germany is the country with the highest um, tax ratio for the people living here um, and this has a huge impact of the recent uh, developments uh, especially when it comes to German industry um, not sure if you guys across the world have noticed that but uh, especially Germany's uh, industry has been uh, declining quite a bit uh, simply because the prices over here are just so insanely expensive that um, many companies decide to go into other countries and obviously they do this well because it's cheaper um, but it also is um, something uh, crazy for the people the normal working people just like me and uh, most of you guys would just have their normal monthly income um, the German tax ratio goes all up uh, until like officially it's 49% but with a couple of extras you're well over 40%, uh, 50%, which means more than half of the month you're working for the German government, which, to be honest, in the past has been more or less fine because we had a lot of great things. Germany is uh, still quite a very good country. Um, it's really talking about first world problems, but it has become uh, more and more hard to talk about that in a almost positive manner because our health system, which used to be one of the best in the world, um, has shown its ugly face during the pandemic. Um, it has been it has been destroyed by too many saving uh, regulations over the last 20 years. So that means uh, we don't have that much going on. Despite us paying the highest tax ratio in the world, the money is not uh, enough. Then we have obviously a very interesting way of um, preparing our people for being elderly. Um, so the way how pension works in Germany is also quite problematic because um, it's based on the younger people and as long as we had longer uh, like a, a bigger amount of young people versus the older people it was all fine but now as we are um, living in a society that becomes older and older um, the money is obviously not enough and the problem is that every time this happens Germany's reaction has been increasing the the tax ratio so um, at this point in time it's it's really crazy to be honest if you come like I have been talking to other people in other countries that earn similar amount of money in similar jobs they just have an insane amount of uh, money um, net money at the end of the month in comparison to me so in Germany it's very hard nowadays to really do the best with your money um, and then other things like for example traffic you know uh, traffic is another thing in Germany the German Autobahn used to be one of the best in the world but the last 
well, three decades, no one has cared about them at all. And so it ended up being a little problem. Well, actually, it ended up being a huge problem because the German Autobahn has, again, another project that has been saved to death, so to say. Um, they have tried to save so much money by not fixing bridges, by not fixing important, uh, you know, knots in the in the system, in the network. And honestly, they have not been investing in modern technology when it comes to fixing roads. So if you compare how roads are fixed in the Netherlands, for example, or in, in Scandinavia versus how Germany does it, um, you'll start to love, you know, while, while other countries just make that during less uh, traffic for example and in a very clever manner germany just completely blocks the entire highway causes insane traffic jams in other regions um hence really slowing down the overall traffic hence slowing down the uh, industry possibility but at the end of the day the industry is almost safe because they have special regulations to get through um and different roads but at the end of the day the private persons are again those to suffer uh, simply because um well they can't get to work or whatnot um we don't even have to speak about Deutsche Bahn, the German train, uh, <laughs> the German train company number one, so to say. This is going to be an entire episode. So let's not talk about the German train at this point. Let me just say it is insane how much money has been burned in the last three decades. Um, I think Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos together will not be able to burn as much money in their life as they have done in the last 20 years. But that's a whole different story. We're going to talk about that in the next episode. Um, so getting this all together um, makes makes the, the tech situation in Germany rather funny. I mean, I'm speaking of a very good situation. I'm doing fine. You know, I've got a good job. We were able to buy a house now um, just before everything went crazy with like taxes and, you know, the European Central Bank raises the um, the main tax and stuff like that. So we have been we have been rather lucky with this. But uh, I know that the majority in Germany now is suffering quite a lot from this high taxation versus versus high prices versus uh, high interest rates. So everything is just negative at the moment for uh, for this. And then obviously a um, society like Germany is suffering quite big times because of that. So maybe you guys in the world don't really know that uh, Germany always seems to be very positively perceived in the world, which is good because most of it is true, you know, um, despite the fact that many things in the last couple of years has have been have been rather problematic it's still again our overall um level of society is, is just very good and overall the way how industry works and stuff like that and the availability of jobs and security everything is really good but the problem is it is just the status quo and you have to project that for the future and this is where where germany really has an issue and there are not there are not little or less um no actually there there's Let's put it the other way around. There are quite a lot of economists who do have a very bad prognosis for Germany in the future. Uh, the next 20 years will be rather problematic for Germany as a country. Because now we come to the to the very big point, which is another problem about our taxation. Um, because all of the money that we give to the government, you know, should be used in a in a in a way. That it does fulfill the requirements of society. That's that's the idea of taxation. I think we have to go back to this point first of all. Taxes are meant to keep the society running. It's not to, you know, pay the government. It's meant to pay all the needs that our society, that the whole, you know, people of Germany require. And it's insane what they have spent this on. Like our German airport number one, the BER, the Berlin airport. Um, has been one of these things where I personally started to think about this whole topic and where I started to delve into it a little bit more. It's been uh, insanely complicated to understand in the first lands, but the amount of money that went into this project has been increased, I think, four or five times during the period of building. And obviously, the you know the opening of this whole thing has been moved backwards 10 million times. Um, so at the end of the day, um, this is one of these projects where the, an insane amount of, and we're talking billions here that have been lost in these big projects. Uh, Stuttgart Air um, train station is another example um, where they want to bring the train station below ground, uh, the main the central station in Stuttgart. Um, and it should have been finished two years ago, but it 
will take another couple of years though and again has been way more expensive than what they have the prognosis have been and now they run with the project obviously into the same issue as everyone has like high interest rates and stuff like that so the project will be even exponentially more expensive and that's that's actually the point where germany is losing a tremendous amount of money and this all goes into the topic of our second episode this is going to be digitalization while we are going to build the old town and um, this <laughs> is a very obvious like this is a very intentional choice because germany's digitalization is more like an old town uh, rather than a modern industry district for example or office district germany is not among the top 100 countries when it comes to digitalization which on its own is already problematic but germany is almost the worst country in europe or maybe at this point may even be the worst country in europe i'm, I'm not sure how their current uh, statistics is I'm, i know that last year there have been i think three or four countries behind germany in the rating so just to understand there is like an overall rating uh, in you know uh, in europe or in the world that just kind of looks into how good is the uh, network in general how fast is the internet speed how good is the network connection mobile network connection uh, how good is the security blah 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 you know all these points and then always in relation to the country itself and to, to the amount of people living there so um and this is where Germany is really bad. And this is, again, another point where taxes should have been used for because it's not a private business anymore. You know, the Internet is not a private business. It's something that the overall society requires. Um, so, yeah, that should be enough about the German tax system. As I said, um, it was more like a general negative rather than uh, in detail. If you want to know certain things in detail, you can put some comments down below. I try to answer them as much as I can and as best as I can. I think it's easier to just kind of try to uh, <laughs> to spot what you guys want to know beforehand. It's kind of hard, but again, this tech system is really interesting um, to say the least. And also maybe to just give you a brief overview. So most of the taxes we do pay directly before we even get our money so it's automatically paid uh, to the government so you don't have to do anything the money you get from your um, job is basically the money you can spend but um, the money that is in your contract is almost double the amount that you actually get so you know uh, net is always very low but then um uh, more important than that is we also pay taxes for um, energy consumption and for obviously uh, for groceries and stuff and there is a difference that we have one that is 19 percent uh, taxes on most of the goods um, consumer goods and stuff like that is 19 percent and then there is a seven percent for groceries and stuff and there has been a huge discussion around if that's like this is another 20 percent of your money so obviously you're paying almost 48 percent in my case i'm paying 48 percent taxes are almost 49 and then afterwards most of the time 19 percent as well so we are speaking 60 percent taxes um just before i've bought anything and then you obviously pay taxes for for example doing youtube and stuff like that is again some and for youtube i pay way over 50 percent taxes because it's an additional income and so it's just for fun you know to make youtube as a business it would be better to do that as a actual business uh, and not as a side business because side business wise you lose so much money so if i would convert youtube now to my main business i would almost keep every every dollar i earn versus now where i have to I actually keep every third euro or dollar i earn because the rest has to be taxes it's it's a weird system uh way more than uh, could be discussed in one episode but um, I think it's very interesting for people out there to note that Germany is actually the country with the overall highest taxation in the world and um, people here now start to suffer from that but yeah that was just a general I'm very interested to talk about um, my build today you've seen in the background we've done a couple of things um, I will talk about once the screenshot is on your on your screen so that's a lot easier to talk about this overall um, one thing I had as a huge issue is again that uh, certain buildings were not building because I don't have the zoning set up correctly which we will do next episode um, I asked two dollars twenty if he had an idea how to fix it he got me the fix there is a mod I need for that so I'm gonna do this for the next episode but I um I found it very interesting how the old town started to look now so um next episode we'll focus on making this look 
really good. But this is the overview of our city. You can see um, the central element of the city where also the old town sits is this um, central spine of the river where we have this small island on the center where I put like uh, some of an old kind of medieval building on, on it, uh, which is kind of a very old area where potentially a little you know um, castle would have been i want to actually do this like a medieval castle this is uh, one episode will be spent only on this island it's going to be very exciting uh, because i think this needs to be very detailed and deserves to be very detailed then you can see the bigger chunk uh, just above the island is where the central city old town and some you know um, fun districts will be uh, we are going to also put like a big uh, kind of shopping mall there and this will be one of the cool things to the far right you can see our first industry district which um i think is temporary we may push this further back but um or maybe on the other side of the river makes more sense because this is how it also used to be. Many German cities around the Rhine, for example, have a huge industry part and a harbor. So we are going to do some piers and stuff over there. Then on the left hand side, this is one of the, um, you know, residential districts and this will be kept exactly as this. Um, this is again how it is in most cities. You have the center around the city and then on the other side of the city, there will be some residentials. Uh, residentials. And then um, above this all, moving forward into to the central part of the of the area you can see already two districts which uh, will both be um, mostly residential with a couple of little commercial zones just so they get their goods there but for the bigger stuff you know for um, bigger malls and stuff they have to go into the center and you've seen I've already prepared some of the traffic um, with some um, trams and stuff like that which is going to be uh, improved over the course of the next episodes as well. And we will also focus, maybe this is going to go in one episode, the old town and the main station will be done next time. The main station is going to be exactly in between um, the lower element on the riverside and the higher element. You can see there's like a little stripe in the middle, which is uh, free, where I have done like a little tunnel and where um, the highway is ending. Um, this is where the main station is going to sit. So the idea is that the main station has also to be connected to, you know, in going traffic from the highway which is usually the case and so this is guided uh, almost exactly there we are going to spend a lot of time with parking because that's a huge deal as well uh, here in germany cars in general are a huge deal in germany so it's going to be very car focused um, but some cities start to do something else so the old town will be will be cleaned up a little but yeah so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this first episode um i certainly did enjoy jumping back into cities so so much and i'm super excited for cities too i just want to get the grip again of building cities from the get-go it's been a while and i've done so many so many very um uh, how, how to call that uh, ambitious projects in the past which never really turned out to be finished because they were just a tiny bit too ambitious but uh, this time around I think this project over here is very we can we can handle that pretty well and I'm very excited to see your comments now after we've had a couple of people joining for the the hype of cities I really will need your help to to shape this city well but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this it's been a pleasure to do this video for you I really hope you enjoyed that too and if you want to pre um, pre-order City Skylines 2, by the way, and you haven't already, you can use my uh, instant gaming link in the description. There's some good discount on the game and on the deluxe version as well. Check this out via my link. Um, you'll help me, you'll help yourself. We are all friends, good stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you want to see more cities and other, other stuff in the future, make sure to subscribe. But uh, that should be enough from my side. Um, hopefully you're not living in Germany and have to deal with the taxes. Oh, we should have also talked about tax declaration in Germany. That is another fun part. Maybe I'm going to give you like a... a, a little recap next episode text declaration is something we should have talked about but i'm not going to do that right now have a good time thank you so much for watching and goodbye